right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that could take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Well, she's one of the best in the women's game now and historically, Valentina Shevchenko. She's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their <laughs> hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's diverse. She's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you overextend or you attack too quickly, she will finish you on the feet and she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his neck section. It won't right? show, it won't show on the back. <laughs> All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Caitlin the Fighter Jukadia. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. Herb Dean, third right. party in the octagon right. tonight. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. There aren't a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Oh, strong kick by her there. Oh, she blocks the punch. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Shevchenko gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh, nice. Oh, she went to the counter left, unable to land. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Able to check that kick as well. Good 
controlling the fight behind that jab. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it's just worse and worse. Oh, a few shot by her there. Probably her best strike in the fight. Her best strike. And you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Nice leg kick. Chukagian's knee strike here is blocked. Oh, another nice combination there. Viewer discretion advised. Her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Not safe for work. <laughs> if you're watching. John, she's hurt. She's done. It, it looks like it's over. Oh. Two total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagi. Right on the button. Blonde fighter going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. from side control position, okay? All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Second round underway. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. Push kick there to the body. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Chukagian. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagian. Well, the accuracy rate not too bad either. 43% on the connections thus far against Valentina Shevchenko. Shevchenko's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over two minutes now to go. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, nice right hand. One minute to go in the round. Need to work. Shevchenko's limping pretty seriously right now. It was that last kick to the right leg that appeared to cause her the problems. We'll keep an eye on that storyline as the fight continues. 
Oh, great block there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. It's going to be a short night if you take many of those head kicks. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. All right, take a seat. Deep breath, man. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, so the previous two rounds, pretty entertaining, DC. We'll see who has the upper hand here. As this oh, flying knee to the back. Oh. Oh, she's in a world of trouble now. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Shevchenko gets back up. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight with her opponent is fatigued. Right hand. Blonde fighter going for the body. Missed with that kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come nice on, head now. kick. Let's move. Let's make it move. Stay focused. Come on. Nice liver shot lands. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. So as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 68 total strikes have now landed. For blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagi. Well, and in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against Valentina Shevchenko. Well, the visible damage on her body really starting to develop now. She's got to answer some of these body strikes, or this fight's going to end. Beautiful fight, and lands to the head. Oh, well timed and placed overhand by Shevchenko. It won't take many of those. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Shevchenko's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. And a crisp elbow lands. Just out of range with that uppercut. Sidekick now. Strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. She knocked her down, but not out. DC, the replay is all you. She is as tough as they come. She is not going to give up on herself ever. If there is an opportunity to fight back, she will take it. Well, let's see what she makes of a chance to stay in the fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds.
All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside physician, and stop the fight. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Shevchenko's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Oh, and high kick lands. And she caught the kick. of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Shevchenko's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side right now. It's kind of hard to look at, Daniel. Looping left hand misses the target. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Head kick, head kick. She lands to the body there. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Blonde fighter gets caught with that. weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, oh my goodness! Right Never seen anything like this, J.A. Mm. How in the world are these two women still standing? And there is the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. Really good round there from Shevchenko. She's ready to get knocked down again. I don't know how she survived that knockdown. Caution, flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round, and quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body, but the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Fifth and final round. Oh, nice shot to the body. Connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. All right, so her movement defensively left a lot to be desired early on, and now she's got an obvious limp because of those leg kicks. Yeah, those leg kicks have been so damaging. To have someone in front of you that is so intent on landing that certain strike, and then to see her desired effect is going to be very difficult to keep her off of that leg kick. Chukagian's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. The fighter's committed to the head kicks. That one landed. Clean punch. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Kagian gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. That strike blocked by Chu Kagian. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, land. How's she gonna 
try to find the next shot that will finish the fight. All right, I'm gonna put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. Are you going for the finish or what? I am biting down on the mouthpiece, and I am swinging from the hip. Something has to land so that she can win this fight. Beautiful. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to... Oh, she's right here. Nice sidekick. Oh, nice. Goodness, back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Caitlin Blood Fighter Jukagian! Oh, you know how excited this makes me. We got a new UFC champion in the women's bantamweight division. A lot of history in this division, and she adds to it tonight. And this is a division that the belt can change hands.